Hi everyone, this is uh, MS Malik 681 with another Roblox update to my Roblox wrapper for Linux. Um, I haven't updated it for a long time because it, it was working and it did everything you need to do, but recently there's been an update with the um, Studio. So it doesn't authenticate Studio anymore, you can't log into Studio using my wrapper, so I've fixed that now. And uh, also, there was something new which I discovered which I thought was quite nice um, there's now a Roblox app so people who have issues logging in through the the website sometimes people click on the link to launch a game from the website and just nothing would happen um, I don't know if that's due to the browsers being flat pack or snaps I don't know sometimes they just wouldn't launch anything but now there's an option to just load a game through the app you don't need to go on the website anymore if you don't want to well we kind of do to authorize the app but that's it just to get it signed in uh, but I'll go through a quick um, setup now so um, uh, let me just get to my wrapper on my system uh, I see my here we are so just like you'd normally do just load in the wrapper um, uh, I always recommend uninstalling Roblox first, especially if you've used other wrappers or even if you used one of my older wrappers, just uninstalled first with number three. Uh, you get a little prompt there telling you that the uninstall is complete and I've set it to go back to this menu after each selection so you don't have to keep loading the wrapper over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and press one to just install Roblox. There's uh, no annoying little prompt telling you that it's going to install for your operating system, it'll just get started. Um, so I have used this recently that's why I downloaded the, the custom version of Wine pretty fast which is now 7.20 uh, I have to make you aware when you first run this it might take quite some time to actually start uh, the download of the custom version of Wine I'm not sure why there's like uh, it just takes ages for the first time but you know like I said I've run this recently it's fine now this Roblox installation here ran perfect but if that crashes in any way you do have to start the whole process again I had it crash on me a few times and now just never does it I don't know if it was a bug with the Roblox app or whatever but this did come uh, some kind of security violation errors uh, which don't seem to be happening anymore the last several attempts has been fine so once you've got that installed you have to go back here and just press any key to continue uh, FPS unlocker if you want it I'm, I'll just leave that off and your um, your API of choice, I prefer Vulkan, so I'll leave it on Vulkan. So again, now you've gone back to the menu now, and I'm going to install Roblox um, Studio as well, just to show that working. Hopefully, might have some bad luck because I'm recording right now, but we'll see. Uh, so you can already see on my desktop here, I've got the app. Um, we'll come back to that in a moment. So let this uh, Roblox Studio install. I've purposely logged myself out of the um, the website. I want to see how this app reacts to me not being logged into the website. Normally, if you're logged into the website, this um, this will request authority from the website. So I don't know if it'll give me an option to log in if I'm not logged in, or if I have to be logged in beforehand. So this is a little test I'm doing right now. Uh, Studio takes a bit of time to install as well, so you just got to bear with that. Let me just get this out of the way. There may still be bugs. I'm actually making this video before I've released this on GitHub. So I don't know if I'll pass it to my Discord guys to test out first. But I'm I've upgraded my my system to Ubuntu twenty two. Well, it's still Linux Mint, but it's based on Ubuntu twenty two point zero four. I think it's called Jammy Jellyfish or something. Stupid names. All right, so um, yeah, from now when you load Roblox uh, Studio, you have to, you can't uh, log in. There's two normally two login options, but you got to log in through browser. Uh, it will take you to the browser. Not logged in. It give you an option to log in. So that's not my username on here. Six eight two. Oh. Uh, just get logged in 
Will it go straight to the authenticator? Yeah, it's authenticating here. Just XGD open like you normally would. And the app should update and get you logged in. Perfect, it worked. OK, so now you're logged in. I don't think you have to do that every time you start it. So if I close this now, I just want to show you. Well, you can close this website now. You don't need that. Um, <clears throat> so if I show you now, um, this is all done. So I'll exit that as well. Um, so here we have the Roblox Studio. This should, if you open this, it should load up Studio and it should be logged in and ready to go. I haven't actually tested Studio. I'm sure it still works the way it did before. I'm still forcing it onto Vulkan because the um, child window patches and stuff. But yeah, you have to have Vulkan to use Roblox Studio. That's always been the case with my wrapper. So I'll close up for now. Um, and now we've got this nice little Roblox app. Uh, I've put Malik on the end of both of these so you know these are mine. Normally when you first install there's a bunch of other Roblox icons chucked on your desktop. I've used my wrapper to just delete those and get rid of them because uh, that'll just make things confusing. So if we open the app, the app can't log in because the login process is like broken but there is an option to log in um, using your web browser. So what you have to do is say login and then you say log in with another device and it'll give you this code so if you go back to your signed in Roblox website uh, you can do quick login quick login uh, so here you want to type in the code it's given you which is for me uh, VB29YY VB29YY enter uh, confirm login on and if I go back here ooh, did I not do something what happened told you it's because I'm recording bad luck uh, log in with another device what's happened this this is crashed all right let's close this uh, let's try that again there's something went wrong I've done it before it definitely works <coughs> hopefully it'll be logged in now when I load it Look like a crash there though. Log in, another device. Got a new code. JFG KW9. JFG KW9. Hopefully I remember that right. About to sign into a computer. Access robots. Confirm. Computer logged in. Okay. Confirm login. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? It's doing this on purpose. Um, <coughs> so look, it looks like I can click on that. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if it's actually checking anything in the background now. Uh, something went wrong. Please try again later. Okay. Um, that's terrible uh, because I'm recording right now but whatever I'm supposed to show you that this that is the procedure to log in I have successfully logged in like that I'm guessing there's something wrong with the Roblox servers right now but that can log you in and once you get logged in you will get a uh, interface just like just like this where you got all your games and stuff and you can just click on it and load it so you obviously if the web browser works you can use the web browser when you leave the game it comes back to the app anyway um, but I mean, if you can access the app and the web browser doesn't work, you know, it's an alternate way of you um, accessing it. Or you might just find it easier to use the app. Um, so it's, a, it's another option available there. And uh, again, I have confirmed that it does work. Right now it's not working, but like I said, there might be updates or something happening on Roblox. I don't know. But for some reason, that's not working right now. Uh, I'll double check that before my final release. So um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I think that covers all my updates though. Um, now using version 720 for the um, version of Wine. Uh, I think I did also update the DXVK version and um, yeah, still the same FPS unlocker. So you shouldn't have no issues with those. Everything should still work the same as it did before. Um, let's actually make sure <laughs> the game actually loads. So again, this might be a problem with Robux at the moment. Hopefully not. If we try loading the game, actually, I can show you the app interface once this you know, at, least, at least that worked. <laughs> so, if I log out of there, I should go back to the app. 
so this is the app interface now and I can load other games from here as well so this is what it would look like when you're logged into the app it takes a bit of time to update with the previews but then it works just like you just press play and you can just load any game like you did Oh, I actually loaded faster I think but okay there's all my updates I don't think there's anything else that needs to be covered uh, leave any comments if you're having trouble you can join my discord server and uh, good luck with that guys thanks for tuning in